Hey everyone, George here. Welcome back to the channel, The Art of Water. And I wanted to give you an update on this uh, retreat um, uh, aquarium that uh, I first, oh, probably about a year and a half ago, unboxed and gave you a review on. Um, this tank has been up and running for a little over a year, so I decided to tear it down completely and start over again. And this is kind of what I came up with here. This is going to be sort of a Wakuzi style tank. It is going to be very barren, not much going on uh, as far as plants. And uh, uh, that's about it for the for the rock and that sort of thing. I am going to get some repins that are going to be coming in the mail here that are going to be uh, just like the ones that are planted in here right now that you see. Uh, I will be planting a few more of those down in the front area here. Unfortunately, I have not received them in the mail yet because uh, mail is a little bit slow getting here. Also, might add some moss with some glue uh, onto uh, the uh, branch that's sticking out there and maybe even some patches on the rocks here and there just to give it a nice little uh, look uh, with some shadows and that sort of thing. There's a lot of nice shadowing in here right now, which is what I really like about this tank. And uh, I will be moving some of the Petite Nana um, around a little bit as well. There are two of them that are glued to the rocks in the far back there. Those are a permanent situation, but uh, I, will be, um, I will be moving the ones in the front um, a little bit tighter to the rocks, perhaps even gluing them down or wedging them in between the wood a little bit more, um, a little bit more discreetly. Uh, there is a fifth one as well that I haven't really put in here because I didn't know exactly where to put it at this time. But uh, yeah, that's basically an update on this tank here. I have not used this tank in quite some time. Like I said, uh, tore it down a while ago and just uh, decided to rebuild it. Now it will have a black background on it as well. I just have not had a chance. I, I actually don't know if it's going to have a black background. I'm thinking black or perhaps a um, an etched glass looking background uh, might be more appropriate for this particular tank. Not positive on that at this point here. But uh, either way, it'll look good. The black background may highlight uh, the rock and uh, a nice contrast on the rock and so forth. So that might be the direction I go. Just not sure yet really on all of that, but uh, it, we'll get it figured out. But I just kind of wanted to go over this with you a little bit, kind of give you an update on what this tank was doing. Uh, I was going to record the build on it, but uh, I really just sort of did this off the cuff. Uh, I actually had no place for a couple of fish here, which started the whole thing. Uh, and that was these uh, rainbow fish in the back here, the scissor tail rainbows. Um, those uh, were, I'm not sure if they call them scissor tail or fork tail, uh, to be honest with you. I'll have to check on that to verify it. But uh, either way, um, I didn't have a home for them. And uh, I didn't have a home for this little pleco, this albino pleco in the front as well. So uh, that's kind of what got me stimulated on doing this in the first place. But uh, I think it looks great. Um, I think it's a nice build as far as the way it looks. It's got some great character to it. And uh, I think when we get the rest of the plants down in the front, and, and there is a couple of crypts that are going to go in here too. They're going to be very small bronze colored crypts which um, will go in some of these pocketed areas right over in here and up in this area as well. They're very low growing. Um, I don't know the exact scientific name for them. As I do that, I will update you, but uh, I think that's gonna look really good and really fill out this tank nicely. So a couple more things to do on this and it'll be complete. But at this point here, uh, we're looking at, uh, you know, basically the outlook or the outline of what I'm really going to be doing here is pretty much completed. And as far as the rock goes and uh, the way the design is, um, that's pretty much the direction that uh, we're going with this. So 
Anyways, George here with The Art of Water. If you would hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment, I'd sure appreciate it. I'm trying to reach uh, um, a thousand subscriptions here by the end of the week here. Got about 21 or 22 uh, to go before we hit that and uh, should be able to do it over the next few days. So hopefully we can get that done and uh, keep my sponsorships going here. Uh, that would be much appreciated. So anyone has any questions or comments, please leave them. Again, this is the retreat uh, that uh, got a lot of attention a year and a half ago. This must be a pretty popular tank with people. Um, the light on this was a little bit different than it was. Uh, this is a little bit more intense light and a little bit more um, expensive light than the one that uh, came with it. Uh, I'm not sure if I may go back to using the one that came with it or uh, continue to use this, but we'll have to see how that goes over the next uh, week or so and uh, see how all of these plants are doing and uh, we'll kind of go from there. Anyways, George here with The Art of Water. Stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll talk again soon.